Hi, it's Dr. John Perlman, Beverly Hills Plastic Surgeon, and I thought I'd take a few moments to describe to you the experience that you can expect after you've had your nose done or undergone a rhinoplasty surgery. This is based on my 30 years of experience in practice in Beverly Hills, California, and maybe of help and of interest to you. Basically, what I'm talking about is a cosmetic rhinoplasty, which in itself doesn't involve internal work on the septum for breathing purposes, but there is sometimes internal work necessary to harvest cartilage from the septum if it's going to be used to cosmetically improve the nose or sometimes just for breathing uh, difficulties. But let's stick to cosmetic rhinoplasty, which usually involves moving the bones in to narrow them, taking off a bump, sometimes thinning the cartilage at the tip, which causes a prominent tip, and other alterations to make a nose look prettier, smaller, more natural. Um, Basically, in most rhinoplasties, people can expect to have some bruising under the eyes, lasting for about five or six days. If you avoided uh, blood thinners like ibuprofen and Advil and aspirin, vitamin E, fish oil before the surgery, that may uh, minimize the bruising, but still do expect some, if, especially if the bones are being moved or, or broken. You can expect some swelling throughout the nose. Usually it's not very bad, but it really does kind of hide to some degree the ultimate outcome of uh, your cosmetic rhinoplasty. So do expect over the course of weeks to months subtle changes in your nose and just improvements to make it look more natural. Most patients uh, say that their face is sore after a rhinoplasty, but not terribly painful. It's really not usually that bad at all. It is important to take antibiotics and decongestants uh, at first, uh, especially if there's packing in your nose but most patients make a pretty quick recovery and get off of uh, stronger pain pills very rapidly and switch to extra strength Tylenol or no pain medicine at all. We usually take a splint off, a plastic splint that's molded to the nose after about seven days and replace it with not invisible but uh, skin tone tape, uh, which is not that highly visible but uh, still can be seen and have patients wear that during the second week. It helps to control the swelling and decrease the bruising and then we have patients take off the tape, or I take the tape off in the office painlessly and teach them how to apply the tape at night when they're at home so that your swelling will be further reduced. It's kind of like having somebody massaging your nose with their fingers. The, the tape just decreases the, uh, the swelling and makes it less likely that you'll have more swelling if you're too active. So after two weeks, expect nothing external on your nose when you're out uh, at school or at work but do tape it at night and uh, as much over weekends as possible just to get a little faster resolution of your swelling. I think that uh, we should answer most of your questions and give you some ideas. I guess the final question is when will I see, and most important question is when will I see the final appearance of my nose? And although it varies and, and I think you'll have a very good idea of what your nose is going to look like, if not immediately within the first three or four months, it actually improves over the course of 12 to 18 months. Um, the last thing is we sometimes, but not in all cases, make a little stair-step incision across the base of the nose here between the nostrils. Uh, for certain cases, it really facilitates what can be accomplished. People who only do closed rhinoplasties lose some of the, the power of rhinoplasty uh, if they don't use this technique selectively, but it's uh, something that heals well. There's generally some swelling of the incision, a little bit of redness, uh, and it usually fades to uh, being uh, hardly visible at all after about six to eight weeks. And if patients come back three to six months after surgery, I have to look with magnifying glasses on myself and with good lighting to see if they even have the, uh, the incision. So uh, that heals nicely, but would require some hydrogen peroxide and antibiotic ointment application in the first week until the stitches uh, on the outside have been removed. Uh, all of the internal stitches are absorbable and they generally fall out by themselves. I think that does it. So I hope that's of help to you and of interest. If you have any other questions, please contact us by calling 310-854-0031. And I would suggest highly that you uh, visit my website because there is a lot more information and a lot of before and after pictures of my own patients in the gallery section under rhinoplasty at www.perlmanmd.com. Thank you for listening. I hope you found this helpful. Get your ice compressors ready before surgery so you're uh, ready to recover. And uh, I look forward to uh, you getting a very nice outcome from your surgery.
Have a good day and thank you for your time.